Hello and welcome back to the Hips Career Mode. Last episode we it was postcom simply because I wanted to just get a few deals over the line. And we did. We got Amin Yedo here, who is twenty two. I think he was twenty one when I got him. I, I don't know, I might be talking utter poop. <coughs> but he's German centre back from FC Cologne. I think it was where I got him. And uh, he's still to make his debut for us. Uh, we got Garcia, who I don't remember what team it was we got him from, but um, <clears throat> not your most typical signing. He's 27, and well, he's just, yeah, I don't know, I just don't think he'd be your typical signing. He's 75 rated, uh, can play left, mid, right, mid, and centre attacking midfield. 5 foot 6, and he's got tons of pace. And it's not that we were missing that, it's just he's a proper winger. And um, Basagog can possibly um, come back in as a sub or just go back up front again. It would be third in line because Graham's just too good and he'll have. Well, we need to give him game time. Whereas Basagog's just kind of. He's fallen in the pecking order, but he's. Um, He's not a bad player, we'll obviously give him chances still. And the last player we signed was Suarez Di Paolo. And um, he's not as high rated as I expected him to be, but enough for the fact he's got potential. So that's all that really matters. He's Brazilian, I think he's probably Thiago Silva's regen. So he should be decent. 70 rated, he's obviously got tons of time to develop into a decent player. Brazilian all high work rates which is good and um, yeah the first game of the season <coughs> is going to be up against Everton and two of our signings will be making their debuts uh, Woods will technically be making his, um, making his Premier League debut he won't be making his Hibs debut as a whole though simply because we played I played a couple of friendlies and I wanted to use him and see how he was um, and then after the after the preseason friendly was done, uh, that was when I got Garcia and Amanido and Suarez de Paolo, just to, you know, just to help the squad a wee bit because I knew defensively we were a wee bit shaky, and I wanted a proper winger on that left side, and um, we also got rid of Caicedo as well, who, it was a good servant to us I think it was I mean it was one of the first signings we made as manager of Hibs, um, we came a long way since then, back in League One. We're in the Premier League, you know, we finished 8th last season. We're also in the Europa League, um, which I only noticed when I was recording last episode. Um, we'll probably get into that later on in this episode. For now, we've got a game against Everton to deal with, and let's get on with it. So, <coughs> this game is going to be rather interesting. I forgot that I turned the... Um, <coughs> the, what do you call it, the commentary off. <coughs> this is basically the only career mode that I've done this year that I can still be bothered to do. I don't know why FIFA has just been kind of boring for me recently. <coughs> uh, I'm not sure why, just kind of has been. But hopefully we can get off to a good start here and I looks like it. Good save from Jordan Pickford though. Alvaro Garcia has yet to do anything really significant. Um, <clears throat> obviously it's only been 20 minutes though, so I don't need to, I don't really need to rush anything, and just force anything through him or anything, Woods to Roche, get the shot off, and Roche has scored, well that's 1-0 no in 25 minutes, just under 25 minutes, hopefully if Roche doesn't get injured this season, um, he's bound to though because of simulation and all that stuff but um Jesus he knows how to find the back of the net from the edge of the box doesn't he how many goals this goal like that pass it back to Woods good touch from uh, Woods to you know actually get it to him under pressure and it's a very good finish Jordan Pickford doesn't even look like he was anywhere near it to be honest I could be wrong in saying that but it didn't look like it 1-0 Everton are 
going to try and come back and give us a reply and they do <sighs> so typical man should have seen it coming Woods again with a brilliant tackle and he gets it through to Garcia from Graham here and it's a good cross back in and Graham oh he smashes the crossbar and Jerry Otas gets it what a volley that was, if only that went in. I'm, I'm literally complaining basically because I scored, but... Oh my god. Great cross from Garcia, if only Graham scored that volley that would have been spectacular. Incredible assist, incredible goal it would have been. But um, Gianni Ortas gets a header. He's still going. And Graham's making a decent run now. <coughs> I don't know what's happening to my voice, but he's got a decent cross in to Gianni Ortas. So I'm making a couple of subs, I don't know when they'll actually be able to be on uh, now, that was pretty, pretty poor from Everton now. Um, but Graham's coming off for Ioha and McGinn's coming off for Berglund here. I don't know if I'm saying, saying his name right, I'm probably not saying any other names right, but um, that's the two subs I'm making. Oh, Berglund in space instantly, Ioha making a decent run, giving the defenders a problem, and instantly comes on and scores. Literally instantly. That is phenomenal. The impact sub of dreams. Both of them actually not think about it. We could be gone and got the assist. Jeez. So Rose gets it into Bergland. Yoha pushes it away from the defender. And that is brilliant. That is incredible. I've cleared that and that's a 3-1 win against Everton. Um, not the first time we've beat them um, in this series, obviously. Uh, I think the last time and this time, though, both of them, we haven't kept the clean sheet, which is... It's not really that upsetting considering we've won, but I'll take the wins. You know, you'll have with what a substitute he was, and uh, along with Berglund as well. Hopefully he can break into the team this season. Our next game is in the Europa League. Well, it's a qualifier for the Europa League. And um, it's against St. Patrick's. I'm not sure if... Um, I think... I think there's two... I think there's um, two legs of this. So... Um, I mean, two games in three days. That's ridiculous. Uh, first one's at home, so I'll... Probably sort of the team for this. Uh, might just play the first team to be honest. Stick in Bergland because he done well. Um, he did very well last in um, the last game I'd say. Mariano Gutierrez. Um, put Mariano on the bench. Um, is there anything else I need to do here? Should I put a Johan? Why not? Uh, Garcia. It was decent in the last game. Uh, shots were a wee bit sort of underwhelming but he done well to take the ball past players I think so I'm going to keep him in the team and we've got basketball still on the bench who can come on in the wing if he wants so um, if that's necessary then we can do that let's play St Patrick's I don't know what kind of team they'll be rotten but we'll just have to wait and see so this is the first game of technically the Europa League that we have ever played in this series hopefully it's a good one because well, we're at Easter Road we have um, well we, 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 we have two legs to play first one's at home second one will be at their stadium I don't think their stadium will be in the game though um, Arna Roche player to watch three goals in the last three matches which is a good ratio, very good ratio. I wish he wasn't just a wee bald guy. I mean, he's got more hair in his chin than he does in his head. Um, are you just too good though? He's gonna be end up like Zinedine Zidane. Maybe not. Probably not that good at all. But he's 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 been very good for me this season. This is the team we're rocking out with. Uh, I think the only two changes are Belgon and Neoha because um, well, John McGinn got injured and well, Neoha scored. Uh, Garcia will probably get really tired, so will Bergon because he's only got 
56 stamina or something, but I've got the subs for that. Um, I don't know what their team's going to be like. I don't know if I'll recognise anybody here. Uh, doesn't look like it, to be honest. I don't think I recognise anybody here. We're playing a 4-3-3 attack. Desmond looks familiar. But, and O'Hanlon. But other than that, I don't think I recognise anybody else. Um, I don't know, we're just going to have to go into this game and hopefully pick up the three points. I don't think their team will be as good as ours. And he's doing well to keep it away from the defender. Berglund with the fancy footwork here. <coughs> to Roche. Who sees Garcia. Can Garcia get his first goal? It does not. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh, what? Why did I do that? He had a goal when I crossed it away. And he had to Roche. Roche should surely score. Never mind. Woods, never mind. They're going to find a space. And he's still going. And he's still going. Berglund. It was a decent attempt. Gianni Otas. Again, he's not exactly the tallest man, and he's absolutely done both of them there. Finally, the goal. Fantastic play from him there. Uh, Gianni Otas taking it by the fullback, I think it was. Brilliant. Just <laughs> very nice goal, I think. It was a wee bit trampy, but I think it's been deserved. Um, this is fantastic. I had no idea that that uh, centre back tried to clear it but didn't really do a very good job of it and that's 1-0 so the second leg is really going to count a lot for this qualifier Gianni Otas has a great ball but oh both the keeper and uh, Garcia missed the ball there and this ended up being a corner Yo, come on he's been nudged off the ball there man Woods oh my god That somehow ended up in like the top bins. Top right corner that's ended up in. I don't know if that's going to count as Wood's goal, but we need to see that again. So we have a corner. Eo has been nudged off the ball to clear it. Only as far as Wood's. One touch. Sure. It was on target. Is it going to count as his goal, I wonder? Very interesting deflection off his thigh into the top corner. Very, very lucky, but if I'm being honest, I think, I think we've deserved it. And it is going to count as his goal. And it's a 2 0 win for Hibs against St. Patrick's. I'd say we definitely deserved it. Uh, Garcia should have definitely got his goal. That was my fault that he didn't. Should have definitely scored. Um, was just an accident, to be honest. Obviously, I would have made him score if, if um, I knew that opportunity was going to arise. But 2 0 win. Um, a win in the Europa League for the first game that we've ever had. So um, let's uh, ho well, hopefully, um, hopefully we can actually progress in the Europa League. Now we're in a situation where the team is like well very tired. <clears throat> it's a good thing we've got a bit of a second team now, um, but the first team is looking really tired. So for this game against West Brom in the next episode. We will, um, we shall hopefully, um, hopefully have a decent team to put out against them, we should, but just need to wait and see. If you've enjoyed this episode though, please leave a like for that, um, well obviously for the episode, but for the, for the very lucky goal from uh, Ryan Woods, and um, hopefully we can continue the winning form right through the Premier League and hopefully who knows maybe finishing a Champions League spot um, this season who knows only time will tell I'll see you all in the next episode